The pandemic is also leaving its mark on college aid applications. The Associated Press analyzed federal data, finding the number of high school seniors applying for federal college aid dropped in the first weeks of the pandemic and still remains below last year's levels. In the four weeks beginning March 14th, the number of completed FAFSA applications was down 45%. The drop was sharpest among students at low-income schools. Schools are blaming the pandemic for the dip, saying many students lost touch with counselors or took jobs to support their families. Few, uh, people are opening fewer uh, new credit card accounts due to the COVID-19 pandemic. A report from Compare Cards found the number of new credit cards open between April 15th and May 15th dropped a whopping 65 percent from 2019. The numbers reflect the significant ec economic impact the pandemic has had on no consumers' spending habits. Credit card issuers are also offering fewer cards to new customers since the pandemic started. Experts say even if someone applied and was approved for a new card, they will likely get a smaller credit line. More people are working from home right now, and that's having an effect on big city rent. In San Francisco, the average rent went down nearly 12 percent in June compared to the same time last year. According to the apartment rental platform Zumper, the median price for a one-bedroom apartment in San Francisco fell from nearly $3,800 a month to $3,200 a month. Still very pricey. The drop in rental prices comes after Facebook and Twitter announced many employees who are working at home during the pandemic can continue to do so permanently. Up next on Valley News Live at 5, Sleeping Lake could have consequences down the road for your teenage night owl.